welcome to Talk Time. My guest today is one of India's best known percussionists, Tofik Qureshi, who has carved a niche for himself in the realm of world music, taking tabla bits to the African drum and lots more. Tofik Qureshi ji, welcome to my show. Thank you so much, Basbiri. Thank you. Growing up with two of the legendary tabla players in the world, Ji. Ustad Allah Rakha Ji. and Ustad Jakir Hussain Saab. Uh, tabla must be in your DNA, but let me tell you, uh, for my sake of my viewers, yeah. Yeah. Ustad Allah Rakha Saab was your father, Ji. and Ustad Jakir Hussain Saab, of course, is your older brother. Yes, sir. How does it feel? Tabla must have been in your DNA. Well, first and foremost, I'm very thankful to God, the Almighty, for giving me birth in a family which had Ustad Allah Rakha and which has Ustad Zakir Hussain. I think I couldn't have asked for more because uh, what I've got through my father, the rhythms, the music that he has imparted to me, which has brought me wherever I am. I don't know whether I'd, I would have been able to do anything if I didn't know music. So I'm thankful to Lord mm -hmm. and it was I think it was a very pleasurable learning experience, Absolutely. worthwhile I can imagine. being in the family with these two legends. Of course, Zakir Bhai was still growing up when my father, Ustad Allah Rakha, was on the top. But he was a child prodigy and, and to see him do practice and my father teach. So the sound was always there in my ear and, and I was always attracted to the rhythmic sounds which were, uh, or the musical sounds which absolutely. were happening in my family. You were also quite a kid at school because, you know, that since I, as I said, the, the tabla or drums were in yes. your DNA, yes. you used to skip the march, <laughs> physical training, and used to tell your physical training oh, yes. teacher, I'll, I'll create the drum beats yeah. for the guys to march, yeah. Yeah. and you skip. It was actually, you know, we used to do this march pass at that time, yeah. just before 15th August or 26th Absolutely. January. Yeah. You know, one month we used to do march pass practice because we used to have the flag day and everything. And in the heat to be marching and, and I used to see these guys playing the snare drum and yeah. the bass dole. And they used to be seated in the shade and, and you know, well, and after everything is over, they would get the cold drink also. Absolutely. I said, my, I want to be there, not here. <laughs> So I told my sir, I said, sir, and so one of the snare drum players, he went out of school uh -huh. because he, he, he shifted school. So there was only one snare player. So one snare would just lie down there. So I said, sir, I can play. So he said, ah, you are from musical family. Yes, yes, come, come. You, you know how to play? I said, yes. So then he showed me just a couple of beats on the snare. And I don't know how I picked it up. I, it was in my head and I started yeah. playing the snare drum. So I got away from the sweltering heat and my friends would look at me and they were envying me. Absolutely. I, you are standing there, you're sitting in the shade playing, we are marching, you know, and, <laughs> but it but, was a great experience. But, but uh, uh, Tofik Rashidji, on a serious note, when did actually tabla happen? Because I understand that you were at some point of time, you were in a dilemma yes. as to whether like your illustrious father and your equally illustrious, if uh, I mean, uh, elder brother, yeah. uh, you should also take the tabla seriously. Uh, why was this dilemma and what was your plan and how did uh, Taufik Qureshi immerse on the scene? Yeah. See, basically, uh, as I was growing up, I was learning and I, used, and I also started performing yeah. with classical musicians, uh, you know, who are my contemporaries. I'm talking about when uh, in the 80s, you know, 80, 81, 82 and all. And I was performing and uh, I was playing with my seniors also, like uh -huh. Pandit Prasad Chaurasi, Osa Sultan Khan Saab. Uh, Pandit Brijbushan Kabra and yeah. my contemporaries also. But there was always something which was, you know, I felt that it was missing. Like even as a kid, you no, know, I would be attracted to the radio sounds. Whenever a film song would come and I would try to imitate that sound of the congas. I didn't know what instruments they were. Yeah. But I knew something like that sound. So I would, you know, the daldeka dabba, tin, I would overturn that dabba, mm -hmm. khari dabba and take jharu sticks. And somebody told me, you know, this is yes, a lakdi se hota hai. So that I would take those jharu sticks the way with which you clean the bathroom yeah, yeah. and I would try to create those sounds. And my, ma my mother would feel every day, 
how is the jhadu becoming less and less <laughs> till she realized that i'm breaking it off every day four five ten sticks and trying to use it so that sound was always in my ears mm -hmm. and i was once uh, you know buddy rich the great drummer yeah, my, my great father drummer. did an album with him rich ala rakha and as a kid about 8 9 years old that was in a way in your real initiation yes. into drumming yes and how oh, because buddy rich when i used to hear that sound i used to i would wait for my sister to come from her college and i would tell her to play that lp i would listen to it at least 8 10 times a day and i would <laughs> only be listening to the drums not my father's oh. sound i was okay to wo to chalta hai wo to roz hi ho raha hai i would listen to the drum and then i was i was think what is this sound so as i was growing up you know i was when i came to college like st xavier's uh, college st xavier's in mumbai i, I realized you know because till then my musical boundaries were very limited but here i met so many people who were doing you different you participated you are one of the uh, stars uh, in college well, i was participating in malhar yeah. and all the other intercollegiate festivals yeah. and i met other people who would play some guitar drums mm -hmm. you know so uh, canvas, saxophone this and that canvas started widening widening and i started listening to other music apart mm -hmm. from classical music i started listening to osibisa santana you know in those days yeah. pat metheny john mclaughlin but, but, you know billy cobham and so many other drummers jack the genre i got to know that guitar doesn't mean one guitar there's acoustic 12 string 6 string bass electric there's so much you but, know but 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 the two people yeah. at the end of the day Uh, you were in a, I mean, sort of, you know, you were trying to self-discover yourself mm -hmm. as to what you should be, uh, and and around that time, the two people, what I have understood, uh, who gave you the real direction, one was your brother, Ustad Jakir Hussain Sab, mm -hmm. and another was a person, lady by the name of Gitika Varde. <laughs> you must tell about who is Gitika Varde so, today. Uh, I of course know it, but I'd like to hear from you. Yeah. So in that dilemma, coming to the previous question, and then I'll take it to to this answer. Yeah. I always thought that you know the A to Z of music is finished for me, right? How A for Allah Rakha Z for Zakir Hussain. So if okay, I okay, that's a very interesting way of putting it. A for Allah Rakha Z mm -hmm. for Zakir Hussain. I yeah. said if I need to be seen, if I need to be noticed. i'll have to have another language i'll have to have another something you know mm -hmm. and that's how i started my journey of bringing all my father's knowledge into an instrument where i could be seen i could be noticed people would listen to me right. you know right. so that's where the jambe comes in into the picture which i'll talk about later so that was the time when i told zakir bhai i said zakir bhai i want to not do classical music and i want to concentrate on film music i was very attracted to film music mm -hmm. fusion music and i went to him and i said yeah it's no problem you can do it you're still young this is about 87 and he said you are young even if you don't make it in 2 3 years time you can always come back to classical music because it's always there mm -hmm. so he encouraged me and uh, so i just jumped into doing you know i went and i gave my cma cine musicians associations examination where i got my card and that's how i plunged into the world of film music and fusion music that's where zakir bhai comes into the picture and where does gitika varde come in cuz i have so, to take i have to take a break but i want to hear this first it's very interesting so after the break after the break okay <laughs> gitika varde after the break on that note we shall go for a short break now but stay on we'll be right back